Welcome to ABE Tutorials. In this video, let us have a short quiz to test your knowledge on the Part 5 of Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards No. 2, 16, 2017. Otherwise known as, General Irrigation Terminologies. But before that, disclaimer, no copyright infringement is intended. The creator of this video does not intend to own any of the content. The creator is claiming fair use of all the materials used. For educational purposes only, all rights and credits belong to their rightful owners. The source of information is indicated in the description box. I will read the questions twice before I will reveal the answer. We begin with Question number 81 Vertical flow of water to below the root zone which is affected by soil structure, texture, bulk density, mineralogy, organic matter content, salt type and concentration. Again, vertical flow of water to below the root zone which is affected by soil structure, texture, bulk density, mineralogy, organic matter content, salt type and concentration. The answer is, percolation. Question number 82. Method to determine the rate of flow under laminar flow conditions through a unit cross-sectional or of soil under unit hydraulic gradient. Again, method to determine the rate of flow under laminar flow conditions through a unit cross-sectional or of soil under unit hydraulic gradient. The answer is, permeability test. Question number 83. Any substance, whether solid, liquid, gaseous or radioactive, which directly or indirectly alters the quality of any segment of the receiving water body or land resource so as to affect or tend to affect adversely any beneficial use thereof, or is hazardous or potentially hazardous to health, or imparts objectionable odor, temperature change or physical, chemical or biological change to any segment of the water body or land, or is in excess of the allowable limits or concentrations or quality standards specified in contravention of the condition, limitation or restriction prescribed in these guidelines. Again, any substance, whether solid, liquid, gaseous or radioactive, which directly or indirectly alters the quality of any segment of the receiving water body or land resource so as to affect or tend to affect adversely any beneficial use thereof or is hazardous or potentially hazardous to health, or imparts objectionable odor, temperature change or physical, chemical or biological change to any segment of the water body or land, or is in excess of the allowable limits or concentrations or quality standards specified in contravention of the condition, limitation or restriction prescribed in these guidelines. The answer is, pollutant. Question number 84. Sealed section formed between earth embankments where combined seepage and percolation will be measured. Again, sealed section formed between earth embankments where combined seepage and percolation will be measured. The answer is, pond. Question number 85. Area capable of being irrigated, principally as regards to availability of water, suitable soils, and topography of land. Again, area capable of being irrigated, principally as regards to availability of water, suitable soils, and topography of land. The answer is, potential irrigable area. Question number 86. Rate of evapotranspiration from a reference surface which is a hypothetical reference crop with an assumed crop height of 0.2 meters, a fixed surface resistance of 70 and an albedo of 0.23. Again, rate of evapotranspiration from a reference surface which is a hypothetical reference crop with an assumed crop height of 0.2 meters, a fixed surface resistance of 70 and an albedo of 0.23. The answer is, Reference Crop Evapotranspiration Question number 87. Part of the system that impounds the runoff. Again, part of the system that impounds the runoff. The answer is, Reservoir. Question number 88. 
moisture left in the soil before the initial irrigation water delivery which describes the extent of water depletion from the soil when the water supply has been cut off. Again, moisture left in the soil before the initial irrigation water delivery which describes the extent of water depletion from the soil when the water supply has been cut off. The answer is, residual moisture content. Question number 89. Taking wastewater from one industry or process, treating it and then using it in another process or industry such as for irrigation, as liquid fertilizer and for aquaculture. Again, taking wastewater from one industry or process, treating it and then using it in another process or industry such as for irrigation, as liquid fertilizer and for aquaculture. The answer is, reuse. Question number 90. Conveys canal water under roads or railroads? Again, conveys canal water under roads or railroads? The answer is, road crossing. Question number 91. Tube or shaft vertically set into the ground at a depth that is usually less than 15 meters for the purpose of bringing groundwater into the soil surface whose pumps are set above the water level. Again, Tube or shaft vertically set into the ground at a depth that is usually less than 15 meters for the purpose of bringing groundwater into the soil surface whose pumps are set above the water level. The answer is, shallow tube well. Question number 92. Occurrence or frequency of earthquakes in a region. Again, occurrence or frequency of earthquakes in a region. The answer is, seismicity. Question number 93. Water escaping below or out from water conveyance facilities such as open ditches, canals, natural channels, and waterway. Again, water escaping below or out from water conveyance facilities such as open ditches, canals, natural channels, and waterway. The answer is, seepage. Question number 94. Line with no filter arrangements where seepage occurs. Again, line with no filter arrangements where seepage occurs. The answer is, seepage line or phreatic line. Question number 95. Distance from the perimeter of the irrigation area to the community or area of concern that is sensitive to contamination. Again, Distance from the perimeter of the irrigation area to the community or area of concern that is sensitive to contamination. The answer is, setback distance. Question number 96. Ratio of the horizontal to vertical dimension of the channel wall. Again, ratio of the horizontal to vertical dimension of the channel wall. The answer is, side slope. Question number 97. Slope of the water surface profile plus the velocity head in open channels. Again, slope of the water surface profile plus the velocity head in open channels. The answer is, slope of the energy grade line. Question number 98. Slope of the free water surface. Again, slope of the free water surface. The answer is, slope of the hydraulic grade line. Question number 99. Channel which releases surplus or flood water which cannot be contained in the active storage space of the reservoir. Again, channel which releases surplus or flood water which cannot be contained in the active storage space of the reservoir. The answer is, spillway. Question number 100. Method of applying irrigation water similar to natural rainfall where water is distributed through a system of pipes by pumping and then sprayed into the air through sprinklers so that it breaks up into small water drops which fall to the ground. Again, method of applying irrigation water similar to natural rainfall where water is distributed through a system of pipes by pumping and then sprayed into the air through sprinklers so that it breaks up into small water drops which fall to the ground. The answer is, sprinkler irrigation. That ends our quiz on the part 5 of the Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards No. 2, 1, 6, 2017.
Comment your scores below. Like, share and subscribe for more.